The arrival of the first ebooks was accompanied by the inevitable predictions that hard copy would soon be a thing of the past, but that now seems about as likely as the 100% paper free office. There's still something special about print on paper, especially when the book is exquisitely designed and illustrated. And a group of Pretoria women were inspired to pull their talents for an unusual creative project. The result was Beyond Spice, and we're about to turn the pages. In Gauteng's tribute to Tuscany, an independent bookstore hosted the launch of an intriguing publication, and Kriya was there. South Africans are vibrant and colourful people who know how to express themselves in a unique and exquisite way. Today I get to meet six South African Indian women who have put together a poetry anthology accompanied with unique works of art. Titled Beyond Spice, the work is described by its creators as a dream manifested as an art and poetry book. All the poems were written by Zina Veru John while five visual artists contributed their works, with the cover, interior design and page layout by Raisa Mohammed. The entire team was on hand to prepare for the launch. Raisa, hi, hi how's how it you? going? Good and you? Very well, thanks. This looks amazing. How's the setup going for this evening? Just getting things oh, sorry, together, yeah. especially with the fine art prints. So these are the original works that you'd actually find in the book? Yes, they are five limited edition prints, so they will not be uh, repeated in prints. So now that you guys are almost done, I want to get to know you a little bit better and know the process behind creating the book. Can we go for a quick coffee and something to eat? Let's do this. Go. Cool. Art and poetry are usually seen as very personal forms of expression. So Kriya was keen to discover how this collaborative effort evolved and to find out more about the role played by each individual. Ladies, thank you so much for chatting to us today. It really is great to get to know the faces behind the book. And Zina, I think I have to start with you because you are pretty much the foundation behind it because it's your poetry. I've been writing for many years, decades actually, but not really knowing that it's poetry until traveling in some country. Some colleagues said, hey, you write good poetry. And I thought, okay, these are poems. And then decided to publish this. What is the inspiration behind your poetry? It's a process that happens. Thoughts and ideas come spilling out of me. And when I look again, it's a poem. So where did the thought come from to marry original South African art with your poetry? The poems were given to the artists. And they had one of three ways in which they've contributed. So the first way was that certain art pieces were made specifically for a poem. And the second way was that some art pieces were made for a range of poems because there were themes cutting across all of the poems. And then thirdly, some of the artists had existing art where they would then have synergy with some of the poems. So I guess that brings me to you, Jaina, who's the head fine artist on the project. How did you make that connection between the art and the poetry? That's where we needed a little bit of help, actually. Um, we did decide to create art for the poems, so it would represent art that represented the poems in some way. Um, but that's when Raisa came on board as designer. Um, she brought up the idea of illustration to actually illustrate directly for the poems. So Raisa, as head designer, illustrator and photographer, how did you get involved in this project? I've never been interested in poetry, that's, that's like the fascinating thing. And But yet when I met Sina, I, it was a whole new world that opened to me. So Zia, there must be a unique factor that brought all these women together to create this masterpiece. I think we represent a diverse range of cultures and traditions within the South African Indian community. And so we celebrate that somehow in our work. I know there's a lot still happening today and I know you've got a photo shoot lined up. Mind if I join you? Please join us. Raisa is a qualified designer, illustrator and photographer. So in addition to her input in the book itself, she has also taken care of documenting and promoting the project. You ladies look like you're having so much fun. Shashke, I must ask you, you are the youngster in the group. This must have been quite an inspiring project for you. It's great to be part of a group that's so inspiring, so diverse. I mean, they are inspiring to young kids, to older people, to everybody really. I don't want to disturb your photo shoot. I know I'm right in the middle of it. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> Okay, Risa, let me take over from you. Thank you so much, Kriya. Okay. I don't have to run for a time with this. <laughs> okay, so just look through the hole and... Look through the hole. And press the button. And press the button. I could be a Everybody. photographer. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, smile. 
little later at the launch, a trio set a tone that complemented the fusion-based concept and style of the anthology. ladies that have created this masterpiece. I'm dressed and ready to go for the evening. The book launch represented the culmination of more than a year of intense work. And at last the ladies could see how readers responded to their ideas and artistry. Risa, you must be so excited about tonight. I am. It's been such a long time planning and we're really excited for everyone to be here and to share this moment with us. So there's a lot of thinking and thought behind the storyboard process of creating a print like this. The prints in these books are illustrations, but the difference between illustration and art is that art is the actual idea brought to life, whereas an illustration is the description of an idea. So we use the art to describe the themes and the definition of certain elements within her poetry. Well, let me not keep you any longer and we'll catch up with you after your speech. We owe a lifetime of gratitude to so many, for those who have gone before us, for loved ones who we have lost in a sense in the material way. We know that their love is shining down on us. So thank you so much for being here tonight with us to share this moment. Whether consciously or subconsciously, Beyond Spice metaphorically comments on the complicated reality of South Asian culture as experienced by six South African women artists. Readers flocked to have their copies signed and Kriya chatted to artist Jaina Mystery about her response to seeing the book on the shelves. Jaina, an absolutely amazing event this evening. How do you feel? We've been working on this for a year and a half and um, ups and downs, but at the end it turned out so well and we're so proud of our book. In creating this book, the women set out to make the mysterious more tangible, to rekindle artistic passion and inspire others to express their thoughts. They've shown the way beyond spice. <laughs> 